Well, the Colts have traded for some proven pass rush, and that's exactly what they have this week. The Colts traded cornerback Rock Yassine to the Las Vegas Raiders for veteran defensive end Yannick Ngakwe, who joins us in the studio right now. I'm Matt Taylor with J.J. Stangovitz and Casey Vallier. Yannick, first off, welcome to Indianapolis, and uh, tell us how you feel about this trade and your excitement to join the Colts. Thank you so much for having me. I feel super, super excited. Um, it's crazy how things come, you know, full circle. Uh, I've been in this conference before in the AFC South, so you know what a what a opportunity, you know, to uh, just restamp, uh, you know, coach football in this uh, in this conference. You know, I'm excited to actually be on this side of the ball. I was in Teal at first, you know, when I first played this uh, organization. So, man, I'm just super excited to uh, continue the legacy of the Robert Mathis's, the Dwight Freeney's guys like that. You, you mentioned Robert Mathis there. You you got a, a reputation for getting the ball out. With Robert Mathis, you know, he's, he's kind of the strip sack king here. What excites you about playing for that organization and continuing that legacy here? Oh, man, you know, what excites me is um, it doesn't matter about your size here. It's, it's all about production, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, certain places look for, you know, certain sizes of, you know, defensive ends, defensive tackles and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, it's football. And, you know, I feel like this is a great, great spot for guys of, you know, my size to just be able to flourish. So what a blessing. How about for for you? Do you realize the success you've had against Indianapolis? Uh, absolutely. You know, uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it now since I'm right. Cult, you know what I'm. You know what I mean. So, uh, oh man, uh, like you said, I uh, had a lot of success, but I'm ready to bring that success and that leadership here, and you know, allow it to flourish through this team. Man, I'm going to get in where I fit in, mm -hmm. and help out all the young guys, and um, yeah, that's what I'm here for, man. God is God has blessed me tremendously to be here. That's Yannick Ngakwe with us, just traded to the Colts from the Las Vegas Raiders. And, and watching you on tape and, um, you know, uh, seeing you, you play over the years. And, you know, like Casey said, I'll say it for you, 11, 11 games against the Colts, eight and a half sacks against Indianapolis over the years. So uh, we're, we're obviously excited to have you on, on this side of things. But overall, 55 and a half career sacks since 2016, tied for eighth in the NFL in that span. How would you describe yourself as a player? How would you describe your, your playing style? Uh, my playing style, uh, number one, is uh, having a high motor. Uh, I've been coached to do that, always have a high motor. You know, no matter what the play is, if it's a run, if it's a play action, always have a high motor. You never know when the ball is going to come out. Yeah. And then also, man, not even it's not even just talk about, uh, you know, the, the traits as far as a player. I want to talk about the traits as far as being a teammate. I'm a guy that likes to push my teammates. I'm a guy that likes to practice super, super hard. And, um, you know, I just take accountability for everything. So that's one thing that I feel like, that I feel that stands out to me, uh, that practice part. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know Quiddy Pay a little bit. Yeah, you know, um, you know another guy. You know, similar uh, origin. You know, African mm -hmm. guy like me, a pass rusher. Got he has really, really, really uh, good tools to be able to be special. So I'm just excited to be able to help him grow his game. Well, where, where do you think his game can go? You know, as you kind of get to be. Uh, you know that that guy in practice, that veteran presence for him. Oh, you know, just you know, the little little uh, nuances to the game. You know what I mean? Like uh, keying certain things so you can get off the ball a little faster. I feel like personally, as a guy that's been in this profession for six years, that uh, seventy percent of getting the sack is your get off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. more dangerous you get off, the more you can get around that corner. So you know, just trying to like give knowledge like that, man. Anything, anything he needs, man. I'm here for him. Now you've you've had experience with uh, you know pretty impressive defensive tackles in Calais Campbell and you're rejoined here with the Forest Buckner. I know we're all excited to kind of see you know how that matches up. What are you excited about playing next to DeForest? Oh man, he's an animal. You know, uh, speaks for himself. All pro guy, guy that guy that makes crazy plays, and I'm pretty sure he's going to want to come to my side and rush a lot. And I'm pretty sure that I, I wouldn't want him going to the other side. I want to be selfish and keep him <laughs> on my side. So uh, yeah, man, I'm super excited to play with that guy. Man, he has a lot a lot of football. Great football left in them to play. And you've got a long history with Gus Bradley. He was your head coach in Jacksonville, your defensive coordinator last year with the Raiders. Now your defensive coordinator again here with the Colts. What do you most enjoy about Gus and, and this system? How does it suit you as a player? Um, I'm going to answer the second question first. Sure. Uh, the system is I was drafted into the system, um, you know, uh, starting off in Jacksonville, being in that 4-3 scheme. So uh, super, super familiar uh, familiarity. Um Going back to the first question you asked, uh, as far as Gus, one thing that I love about Coach Gus is I've seen him uh, when things are good, and I've seen him when things are bad, and he's the same guy. And it's hard to find people like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So uh, that's somebody that I would love to play for, you know, God willing, for the rest of my career, be a coach for the rest of my career. And, um, yeah, man, great dude. 
the one guy who you, you don't have experience with but is on the staff is going to be your coach is Nate Ollie, and I know you got a little chance to chat with him today coming in here, and he's talked about his attacking style, like, you know, taking the seatbelt off. How do you think that fits your game? I feel like it fits really well, you know, being a uh, – being able to have a great explosion explosion off the ball, he's basically allowing me to be able to flourish with the talent I have. And it, we just briefly talked, and we're so excited to be able to work with each other. We've uh, come across similar circles, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even, uh, my position coach in Maryland, my last year was Coach Chad Wilton. He uh, had the opportunity to be coached by him as well. So, you know, it's crazy how things come full circle. Unique Ngakwe is our guest and obviously great player, but I mean, you've never had fewer than eight sacks in a season. Um, you've never missed more than one game in a season. How, how do you think you've remained so consistent and, and so durable throughout your career so far to this point? Yeah, my Lord and Savior, God, you know, without him, I wouldn't I wouldn't even be here. You know, um, I wouldn't have the skill set. I wouldn't have the talent. So, you know, number one, my, my Lord and Savior, that is the main reason why, you know, um, success has happened and also uh, the lessons I was able to learn from was from him as well to be able to grow into a, a mature person. Yeah. Well, uh, it's fantastic meeting you, and uh, it's fantastic to have you here coming over in a trade. Uh, Unique Ngakwe has been our guest. Uh, congratulations on a new setting. I know the Colts are very happy to have you here, and uh, we look forward to big things starting in the spring. So thanks Thank so much so for much, the time. Thank you so much, fellas. Thank you.